Right, let's sign up for the free version of Zoho CRM uh, and, and get up and running straight away, right? So we're going to obviously come to zoho.com forward slash CRM uh, or whichever Zoho area that you want to use. I think it will jump you to your local area anyway, but I'm going to use zoho.com. I'm going to put in my name. I'll put in my proper name. Uh, test uh, 2021, because that is what video we are doing. And a password. Don't say out loud. Phone number. Put your phone number in. I'm going to put a fake one in because I don't want them to start phoning me. Because uh, they will call you and, and see if you need any help. Uh, see if you need anything. I would like to receive marketing. It's up to you, obviously, if you want to. Ticket and agree to terms. Get started, right? Creating your account. So here we go. Company name. Oh. I uh, would like to show alert. So if you wanted to pop up, let it let it pop up on your screen. I'm not going to allow it to. You know, but as you're doing using your business, you may want to let it um let it just give you notifications. You know, if there's somebody else in the in the company. Uh so you're looking here at your time, you're looking at the language and you're looking at currency. So obviously if you're in a different area, put your time zone in. If you're wanted to be in a different language, they've added a lot more languages this year. Uh, uh, and current location where you are. Load sample data. If you know what you're doing, you don't need to do it. But if you want to populate it so you've got information already in there so you can play around and show other people before you start using it, click, leave it ticked. It's very easy to get rid of. Get started. Right, next stage. We've got a choice here. Do we want to take a tour of Zoho CRM? Do we want to go and in input um, and migrate it, or do we just want to skip it? Uh, if you've seen my video, if you've seen this introducing video, you probably don't need a tour, but of course you can jump in, take the tour. It's going to go through. This is how you track leads. Here you go to qualify, you convert. Uh, know how you're performing in the reports, and then you're in. And we've got that sample data, so we've loaded. If you wanted to go through a migration, uh, I would look in the Zoho One experience, and ask me certain things. You want, if you've got information in another CRM that you want to import in, or you've got a spreadsheet that you want to import, I've got specific videos on that. So if you jump into the Zoho One, CRM, uh, the Zoho One uh, Experience Forum on my website and ask the questions or ask in the comments for this video, and I'll put you on to how to import your data. But at this point now, we're all set up, um, and we can start delving through the uh, CRM, right? So obviously... The data, the contacts, we know from the video, this is where our contacts live. Uh, we can edit this view if we want to. We can go in and edit, change settings, uh, and browse around. It's just sample data at this point. You can just have a quicker look around, see if your accounts are there. Yep, they are. Are the deals in? Everything's populated that you'd expect, and it's all really set up and ready to go for uh, importing your uh, importing, maybe inviting other people in your organization, right? I just want to jump in this section as well. What you'll notice at the top here is it says enterprise trial. And we don't really want to try the enterprise level. This is a £35 a month version. So you may find you're looking at things that aren't going to be available to you in the free version. So you're welcome to try it out for 15 days. Or you can go up to here. If you've got no intention of paying, click on the profile of the head and then it says here, enterprise level trial expires in 15 days. Try other additions. What you want to do is come down here. If you want to just use the free version, switch to free version. You're about to cancel your trial. Your subscription will switch back to the free version. I understand. Cancel. Up at the top of the page, it will now say free upgrade. So we're only dealing now with the free version, right? So as I say... 15 days, you can tinker with it, you can do stuff, but be aware that some of the settings in that enterprise trial may not be go. It may will go away. Uh, so I would recommend just go to the free version and then dive in. It's up to you whether you now remove the sample data once you've played around, or if you invite somebody in so they can play with the sample data. So what we'll do is we'll invite somebody in so that they can come in and see how it works. Maybe so you can train them with actual data before before they dive in in a blank uh, CRM, right? So we're going to go up to the settings here, up here. We're going to go to users. And we're going to add a user. Here we go, plus new user. 
uh, let's call them uh, da -da -da -da, sales, sales, sales number one. Let's call her Sarah Sales. I always go with Sarah Sales. Sarah Sales. Oh, last name Sales. Right. Email Sarah twenty one uh, paulnicholson dot com, and then you can choose the role. Is this uh, the admin or a manager? Is it the CEO or is it sorry manager here? So it depends on what settings you want to give them, what what uh, privileges those people are, and you can set it then to uh, admin or standard. I would recommend standard because you obviously don't want. If it's just somebody who's a, a salesperson, you don't really want them tinkering with settings. If they have got full admin, give them admin, right? Standard. And you can tinker with those settings. And Sarah's sales uh, has been added, right? So Sarah will get an email. I've got my emails turned off. In a second. Here we go. Da -da -da. Did I type? I always have to make sure I type the name in, right? You know? Um, yeah, so I think she will get an invite. Are we in junk? I'll have a look. Oh, there we go. It's gone to my junk for some reason. So keep an eye on your junk and put it back in as not junk. Here we go. Zoho team, confirm your account. So you've been uh, welcome to Zoho Serum. We are so happy you're here. Confirm your account, right? Oh, that's test. I don't know. That's actually the test. It's not the invite. That's my account. Uh, let's confirm that anyway. So yeah, I'm not. Um, Verify, access, verified. So yeah, you need to do that. I'm surprised it went to Ms. Junk Mail actually knowing me. So set up and users. Sarah Sales. Uh, Reinvite. Try that. Have I typed my name in properly? Yeah. Close an invitation email. Yeah, it's not coming through though, is it? These setup videos always make me look like a fool. Uh, well, I've spelt my name right. I'm just going to pause it and just give it a minute to come through. Maybe it's just a bit slow. Yeah, it did come through. It's just my email. Uh, it just froze. So here's the invitation. Uh, Paul Nicholson. Paul Nicholson has invited you to join Happy Me Limited. Uh, CRM account. Join now if the above doesn't copy and paste this. So Sarah Sales is coming in and she's going to click this link. Uh, full name, Sarah Sales, password, and create my account. And now Sarah can see. Actually, Sarah's limited uh, to seeing the sample data. So it's actually, that's a good point, isn't it? That the, the, they won't see the sample data. But Sarah is now invited and she's in the CRM. So I didn't realize that the, the sample data wouldn't be shown to the other user. That's interesting. So we want to say, do we want people to see our information? Do we want them to share it or not? So if you go up to settings here, back to settings and go to users. Oh, I missed it then, didn't I? Users. In fact, security control is what I was going to go to. And then uh, data sharing at the top, data sharing settings. Are all your contacts going to be private to each other? Are you going to allow people to see them? Or, and are you allowed to, allowing people to edit them? So for, for information, the, um, the leads, accounts, and contacts, obviously everything's private. So it's private to that person who put them in, private to the admin that signed up. Do you want them to be read-only so that people can see them, but they can't edit them? Or do you want them to be public read, write, and delete, right? So... You can do them all one time by going here. So leads, we're going to make public. Accounts, we're going to make public. Contacts, deals, we might just put as read only. Uh, campaigns, public. Activities, public. And you can go through and set up what you want to see between them, right? So for everything we've done there, we've now changed the settings. So if I go back and refresh or click on a different setting, and refresh now we can see the leads now we can see the contacts and we can edit the contacts right we can go in and change things but we didn't change it for deals we can see the deals 
this is probably interesting that if people start working on the same sort of customers, you want to make sure that they don't work, you know, got deals going against each other. But there is no option to edit this deal. See, everything's padlocked because we chose with the deals to leave as public read only. So you can't mess with somebody else's deal. But for a standard user, now we're saying you can see other people's accounts. You can see other people's contacts and things like that. So it's interesting. I didn't realize that the default was private. Um, but that's how to change it and allow people to see that sample data. We have invited a new user and we can delve in and uh, really get using it. This that was just a quick setup guide. If you come to uh, forum z1exp.com, you can just jump in and ask a question. There is free training on my website, paulnicholson.com, or if you go to pnuk.co, zoocrm, that, that has been a link uh, all the way through this video, and you can go through the setup guides. There will be a 2021 setup, and that will get you going. So we've signed up at the minute. The final thing we're going to do is remove that sample data by going back to setup and here you will see remove sample data yes proceed sample data removal has been scheduled in a minute or so it will uh, pop up and say it's been removed so that was just a quick setup guide how easy it is to set it up i, I didn't realize the private settings on the on the invite and i obviously check your email settings check your spam for those invites it's very easy to sign up uh, and get going Hopefully that's helped you get you set up. There's a lot more to change, a lot more to edit, um, and a lot to Zoho CRM. A lot of integrations and importing, exporting data. Come to z1exp.com, join the Zoho One experience. It's all free. Everything's free. All the training courses are free. The forum is free. Uh, and you can ask any questions you've got in there. You just go, here, look, if you've got a question, just click here, ask a question. Pops up a little thing. Give me some information. Tell me what you need, and I'll point you in the right direction. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions on YouTube, you can leave comments in there as well. Stay tuned for more and more on Zoho, uh, and we'll see you soon.